back to my channel, sports fans. Okay, let's get into this one right here. Michael Jordan versus LeBron. The GOAT debate. We all know about this. But I want to talk about a different GOAT debate. Um, What will soon be the Tom Brady versus the Patrick Mahomes GOAT debate? And it's coming. It's coming up real soon. To me, look, oh guys, <laughs> let's be honest. Mahomes, I don't know if he's going to win it this year, but in years to come, Mahomes might win three, four more championships. And I hate to break people's hearts. The NFL is not that good as it used to be in the 2000s uh, or the 210s. The defensive effort, the defenders, the all-time great um, teams of the 2000s, the 210s, they're not the same as in, in, in the 2020s. It's just not. The quarterback play is not the same, or the quarterback competition is not the same as when Brady was in the 2000s. In the 210s, it's just not, folks. <laughs> we we got to keep stop kidding ourselves. And Tom Brady was talking about this the other day, and it's, it's not the hate on this era, but it was really unheard of that you would throw a rookie quarterback basically out to the wolves. You, you really didn't start a rookie quarterback. Now, the rookie quarterbacks maybe start eventually, you know, eight games into the season when they realized that their season was over. Yes, I, I, I've seen that plenty of times. But to start a rookie quarterback uh, in the 210s, the 2000s, the 90s, the 80s, a lot of that stuff was unheard of, right? Because the NFL game, it was <laughs> it was just too fast. Now, they're just throwing rookies out there like it's nothing. Because the game is that easy. It's easier. Um, so to me, I think Mahomes came at a time well, I would say came at the time because he's been in the league for a minute now, but I'm just saying from I really think from last year and on the quarterback, let's just say the 2020s, really, even though Tom Brady played in the 2020s, Drew Brees played. I mean, these guys careers are, are were dwindling down. They were <laughs> they were way out of their primes. Um, who's that? Uh, Aaron Rodgers. Way past his prime. Still can be good or whatever like that, but. It's just no nobody is really on the Mahomes level of a quarterback. As, as good as Lamar Jackson is, if he goes into the playoffs and he gets beat by Kansas City again, he, he's just embarrassing himself. It's going to be like a, a Peyton Manning all over again. Putting up all these great numbers and then gets embarrassed. And trust me, I was a Colts fan back in the day. <laughs> and I, I hated Tom Brady. I hated this guy. I hated him. But guess what? This guy always came through in a clutch. And I don't want to hear nothing about Tom, Tom Brady's defense. Because, look, your defense is only going to be as good as your quarterback. And what I mean by that is nobody's going to go out there uh, on any side of the ball. The, the offensive line, the receivers, the tight end, the, the defensive line, the uh, safeties, defensive back, these guys are not going to go out there and give it their all. Um, game in and game out and every snap, if they see that their quarterback is trash, <laughs> it's just not going to happen. It's just not going to happen. Now, you see that your quarterback is out there doing what he's supposed to do. He, you know, He's making the throws and doing his job. Yeah, these guys are going to go out there and lay their bodies out on the line. We've seen that. We've seen that for years. That these players, they say, well, I'm not going to go out there and, and, and lay my body out on the line and do all this if this quarterback can even do his part. We've seen that. We've seen that in the past from players. But once you got that quarterback, you know, your, your Drew Brees, your Dan Marinos, your Steve Youngs, your Elways, and, you know, your Tom Brady's and Mahomes and Aaron Rodgers and, you know, all, all these all these great quarterbacks, their team is, is really going to go out there and give it their all. That, that's just the facts. That's just the facts. But we'll see. We'll see with Lamar. You know, he, he's got to come through with that. Um, when the Bengals and Macaulay Coughlin beat Cincinnati, I mean, when Cincinnati and Macaulay Coughlin beat, beat Kansas City, that we thought that was really a statement win. 
right? We thought, oh, man, Kansas City is beatable now. Kansas City is beatable now. Nope. We'll see with Cincinnati. I, I, I just don't think Cincinnati is going to be like... <laughs> They're going to be like that, the Chargers, right? Remember the Chargers in the 210s? Um, they have Phillip Rivers, and, you know, he always put up, you know, pretty good numbers. But they could never get past, basically, they could basically get, they could get past the Colts, and they couldn't get past the Patriots and stuff like that. They're going to be the Chargers of the 210s. I'm trying to tell you. Um, so the GOAT debate is, is really... It's going to come. Especially if Mahomes wins his third title, forget about it. You're never going to hear, hear anything different. It's going to be Mahomes and Brady. That GOAT debate is going to spark right away. And trust me, this is what the NFL really needs because, the NFL, listen, the NFL ratings are starting to get shaky now. This year, NFL ratings are down. Um. And a lot of people, if you if you really watch these games and look in the stands, I don't think these games are selling out. A lot of them. a lot of these games are selling out. People are going to these games, and listen, it's, it's expensive to go to these games. I mean, you could go to a game and just you know you just buy a ticket and go, but a lot of times, where's the fun in that? You might want to tailgate. You might want to drink. You might want to eat food. You know, you're just in, enjoying everything about being at the game the parking is outrageous um so really for you to have fun there let's just even minus the ticket and you and somebody else win minus the ticket uh, maybe you have to spend a hundred dollars per person not including the ticket so that's a hundred dollars per person you know just to eat just to drink I seem to, you know, where I live at, go to a football game, a, a 12 ounce cup of, I don't even think it's 12, maybe like eight or something like that. Uh, what was it? A, it's about the size of a, well, tw let's just say about 12, 12 ounce cup of, of whatever, a, a mixed drink, you know, Bacardi and Coke. Let's just say that. That's $30. It might be more. I haven't went to a game this year. But it was thirty dollars just for that little ass mixed drink. Basically, a shot. It's basically a shot. So, I mean, you, you can get messed up before you go to the game, but and eat tailgate. That's what a lot of people do, anyways. That's probably why it's so expensive, just to eat or drink there. But I think this is what the NFL is going to need because their ratings have been down too. Their quarterback play, I don't think it's that good. And so if Mahomes wins this three peat, it's, it's it's over. It's gonna be the GOAT debate 24 hours. Tom Brady and Patrick Mahomes. Now, this is what I think. It's really hard to to, to scale these things. You know, because like I, I keep trying to tell you, if you know anything about football. Tom Brady played against better defensive competition, right? When we talk about the 2000s and 2010s, we talk about the Jets, those Jets teams. We talk about those Baltimore teams. Even the Colts had a pretty good defense in those times. Um, who else we want to throw in there? The, the Bears with Erlacher, they had pretty good defenses. This, of course, the Steelers in those times. Philadelphia, good defenses. Um, I don't know if I would want to say San Diego. They have pretty good offenses. Um, <sighs> Buccaneers, they have pretty good defenses in the early 2000s. Um, I don't know if I want to say the Rams, per se. They were better on offense. Um, God. Maybe you guys can name some more, but you just don't see those defenses no more. That were... <laughs> That, that Tom Brady and Peyton Manning and Drew Brees and, you know, these guys had to go against back in those days. You, you just don't see it. You just don't. I think uh, the the, uh, the Broncos, they had pretty good defenses. We remember that. The Broncos. Um, 
in the 2000s, 2010s. Um, let me see here. It's it just a quarterback play. It was, it, it was just better. We really don't have to go over the names. It is not the same. That was in the 2000s, the 2010s. It, it just wasn't, folks. I know we like to forget about history. It, it just, you cannot, those names back then, it, it just ain't the same as today. It's just not. Those guys back then was prolific passers. They were all-time great um, passers. They just were. You can even throw Donovan McNabb in there. All-time great passer. And, you know, even whatever became of, what's this guy's name? They used to play for Carolina. Wear the funny hats. Oh, my God. He, he, he was good back then. We know what we had. Tom Brady and, um, what's your boy's name? Um, from the Rams. That was bagging groceries. Um, he won the Super Bowl. He won the two Super Bowls. Um, of course, I said Phillip Rivers. I know he's not top 10 of all time, but still. Phillip Rivers did his thing back then. Peyton Manning. It, it was just it, it was just better quarterback play. We, we all know this. We don't have to go through all the I'm not trying to say every quarterback was all-time great back then. But, look, we had some all-time great quarterbacks, all-time great defenders, and, of course, all-time great receivers. Right? All-time great safeties. How about that? And if you want me to really break this down, you know, I, I'll write it down, you know, and we'll go through the, the receivers in the two, two, 2000s, in the 210s. We'll go through some of the running backs. We'll go through some of the um, safeties, the linebackers. I mean, the linemen, some of the great offensive linemen. I mean, it, it just, it'll just get out of hand, folks. <laughs> it just get out of hand. We all know it will get out of hand. The competition that Tom Brady faced in the 2000s, in the 210s, that were legendary. Some of those Super Bowls were legendary. They were legendary. We remember when Tom Brady would go into Pittsburgh and Baltimore and they would have these great defenses and he would clean up on them. He would go in there with, with, and he would get surgical. He would get surgical on these guys. Sometimes going there and blow them out in the playoffs. You know, and, and sometimes it'll be a good game. And Ray Lewis will be like, man, I hate this guy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They hated this guy out of love. You know what I'm saying? Not like hate, hate. But Tom Brady was surgical in those games. Did, now, did he win every game? I'm not trying to say that. But when Tom Brady was on his game, it was crazy. Uh, but that was the level of competition back then. I know we want to forget because we want to move on. That's what we do. But it, 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 the NFL has something to always stand on to move forward to be a great league because a lot of times we had great Super Bowls. You know, of course, the Seattle Seahawks. Let's don't forget about them. You know, those great defenses. I mean, what, what are we talking about? And we talk about uh, Ben Roethlisberger, another great quarterback. You know what I'm saying? I know you guys are just naming off names and saying this. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So, to me... I don't care how much Mahomes wins, his level of competition it will, will never be the same that Tom Brady faced. It won't be. And I'm not trying to take nothing against it, away from the guy, but it's not there. It'll, it will never be there because the league is getting softer. It, it just won't be there. You know, I think Mahomes could play in any era. You know, we look at Lamar Jackson and what he's able to do. I'm not really that impressed. The defense ain't there. These guys have to keep selling you something to sell the NFL. I'm not going to say it's, it's flag football or nothing like that, but <clears throat> Michael Vick faced way better defenses than Lamar Jackson. These guys will crush you back in the day if you got out of pocket. Will crush you. Get done. And you will get you will get crushed. You get back up, and they'll unfold you. And you have to keep playing. That's how it was. Just how it was. Okay? Um, was it, oh, you can't hit this guy up here, down there? No. They would crush you. And even people say, oh, man, they changed the rules with Tom Brady. Yeah, because you couldn't smoke a guy below the damn knees no more. But guys were still getting crushed <laughs> above the knees. They were still getting crushed above the knees, folks. Let's don't forget it. Let's don't be stupid. Um, 
What's this guy, Troy Palomalu? Man, we forget about guys like that that'll knock your freaking head off. Um, yeah, he was happy to get out of the league too because it was starting to get soft as he was going out of the league, right? He was starting to get those penalties. He was literally knocking people's heads off. And it, they didn't change the rules, you know, in his prime. They, it was his last years. He was the, this guy literally was destroying himself to destroy you. It was crazy. <laughs> the Ed Reeds, these guys, you, you guys, oh my God. This was NFL back in the day. Are we saying this is the greatest era, the 2000s, 2010s? No, maybe not. Maybe so. I don't know. It could be the 90s. It could be the 80s, the 70s. This is when real men suited up and played football. Not to take nothing away from the 2020s. It's a great game, but it will never compare to back then. Um, Tom Brady owns all the quarterback records. It's really not even close. Um, in the regular season, the playoffs, um, in the Super Bowl, he holds a lot of NFL records, period. Um, in the playoffs, the regular season, in the Super Bowl, not just quarterback records. So, look, I mean, uh, Mahomes will have to get at least, to me, he will have to at least get three quarters of these records that Tom Brady has. And he would have to match to me, Tom Brady in Super Bowls. Or he would have to go maybe like, say if he went like six in, did he lose two? I don't know if he lost. Did he lose two? I'm not sure. Or did he lose one? I, I forget. But, yeah, that, that's just how it is, man. He would have to, for me, he would have to get seven, man. Just because of the competition, he would at least have to match seven. Or if he, or if he only lost one, he would have to go like six maybe like six and six and one or something like that the competition just isn't there and Mahomes is, is he's great he, he's all-time great there's no competition for this guy he's just he's just too good in this era he's just too good he's just too good guys um it, it wasn't like Michael Jordan right well Mike Michael Jordan came in the 90s and we just oh Michael Jordan's competition was weak no it wasn't like that the guys were more athletic. Um, they were more nimble. Um, a lot of these guys came out of the late to uh, mid eighties, like Michael Jordan. So a, a lot of these guys were just basically. Um, what do you want to say? They, they were on, in Michael Jordan's era, really. He wasn't playing against old guys. He was playing against guys that came into the league with him or came into the league two years after him. He wasn't playing with old guys. He didn't come in the league in 80. He came in the league in 84, 85. First playoff uh, game was in 85. So he was he came into the league basically with your Clyde Drexlers and your um, Hakeems and your Patrick Ewings and, you know, all, all these guys like that, John Stockton, Charles Barkley's, and, you know, Chris Mullins and, you know, you got your guys that came later, like, you know, uh, a couple years later, like Mitch Richmond and Tim Hardaway and David Robinson right at the end of the 80s. So he wasn't playing against old players. <laughs> you know, it was just, uh, or the guys weren't up to his competition. You had in the 90s, all that, to me, it was the greatest collection of centers. It just was. It was the greatest centers of, of, of all time in the 90s. And when we talk about athletic, <laughs> it was ridiculous the most athletic centers in the 90s. It, 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 it wasn't even wasn't even a thing. That's why I said LeBron James could not just be driving down the middle of the lane in the night. They would be blocking his ish all over the place. It would just be like, this is what we're going to do. We're going to put you on the line at that and make you shoot your free throws. I mean, they would be calling this guy all kind of names, the crowd, and, man, they would, it would be ugly. Especially if he couldn't hit them free throws, that'd be, oh, my God, that, LeBron didn't, didn't want no, no part of the 90s or the 80s in the NBA. It would be a joke. They would have him crying for his mama. He tried to come in there with a legit seven-foot center, an all-time great shot blocking center, and then you have to get past a power forward that's like 6'10", 6'11", that's going to block your shot too? <laughs> you, it, 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 come on, man. And you would have to take a hard foul? It, it would be a joke. So that, that's that's where I am with that. Um, 
I think it, it would be a better comparison, a better goat debate if we did something like that with Mahomes and um, Brady because Mahomes is clutch. He's a clutch player. He's an all-time great at his position. Top two. Top. I mean, you can put him where you want. He's top five. I won't even say top two. That that would be wrong. To, you know, some of these guys that we just mentioned played in a tougher era against tougher competition. That, that's what I'll say about that. Um, and, and we've seen it with a lot of quarterbacks. You might go to the Super Bowl and never return again. It was just that tough back then. It was just that tough back then. Um, Dan Marino didn't go back. He, he didn't have a, a good defense. They were more finesse. Back then, you had to have... In the 90s and the 80s, you had to have good defenses, too. Couldn't just have a good offense. So, yeah, I would like that go debate better than the Michael Jordan and LeBron go debate, which is, is ridiculous. They started go debate in 16 after a guy was three and four in the finals. <laughs> Imagine that. Before that, before he won the finals in 2016, he was two and four. This guy was two and four. That's crazy. And he won and became three and four with only one scoring title. That's it. One scoring title. And was on his second super team. Folks, tell me that's not embarrassing for the NBA. Against Michael Jordan's resume. That's that's embarrassing for the NBA. And then he proceeds to get smoked two um, finals in a row. Two finals in a row. He makes it back without even Kyrie in 2018. <laughs> That's like Michael Jordan making it back to the finals without Scottie Pippen. That's not going to happen in the 90s, folks. It's just not going to happen. It's not going to happen. And Kevin Love was pretty much, he, he played like shit in 2018. And they still made it back to the finals without a number one seed. Folks, <laughs> you know about playing in a weak era. We were just talking about. Um, Mahomes, look at that. Look at that. And he got his doors blown off in 2018. Quit on his team. God. So, yeah, I'm, I mean, I would take that GOAT debate more, Mahomes and Brady, because the guy's all-time clutch. Um, you know, he's going to – you make one mistake, he's going to beat you. He's one of the, the one of the best quarterbacks of all time. He can throw on the run. He can make all the passes. He can run with you least at, at, at least – what's the word? When you least expect him to, and he'll beat you while he's running. Um. So yeah, I, I would take that goat debate more than the, the Jordan and LeBron goat debate, which is the biggest goat debate. I mean, when we talk about a goat, he's not even well rounded as far as like his basketball play. Can't shoot free throws. Can't shoot the mid range. Can't shoot the three. Um. Can't give you no paint work. So how would he be an all time great at playing basketball if he's not fundamentally sound at nothing? He's not known for nothing. Again, can't shoot the three, according to his percentage. Career, can't shoot the mid-range. Poor at free throws. Ain't a good paint player. He should be dominating in the paint. 6'9", 250, 270. He should be killing these guys his entire career in the paint. Not running down the paint. I'm talking about as a paint player. Builds all these super teams. Jumps home to home. He's not He's not an all-time great uh Rounded basketball player. I don't know what people are, are talking about. I'll take Scotty Pippen over this guy because Scotty Pippen played against men in a man's league. He didn't play against skinny three point shooters. They didn't have to change the rules in the, for Scotty Pippen while he was playing to a no touch era while Scotty Pippen was getting beat by uh, international plumbers in the in the FIBA in the, in the, in the uh, Olympics. Ridiculous. Scotty Pippen got his rebounds against men, grown men. Legit seven footers, all time great seven footers, and legit all time great power forwards. You want no spread out floor where no no people was under the hoop, <laughs> and then when the shot went off from the offensive player, they all just ran back to the other side, and you're contesting nobody for a rebound. Think about that; these guys are contesting nobody for a rebound. Nobody. Tell me what you think.